guys, today I'm here with a bit of a different video. We are going to be testing out a new super gimmicky product and I kind of stay away from gimmicky things just because they're gimmicks and generally I know that it's something that I'm going to do a video on and then it's just going to take up space in my house and it's really not that beneficial to anyone without besides the fact of like the entertainment purpose obviously. But today I'm going to be doing a video all about the Bosha Jelly Ball Cleanser and this really appealed to me because it's a gimmick and it's interesting but it's also something that I can use and something that seems like it could actually become a part of my skincare routine. So basically this is a jelly ball that you can either rub on your face or you can rub onto your hands. It creates a lather and it's just like any other face wash. It's just kind of like the format that it comes in is a little bit more interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. This product launched on the Sephora app late last week and I jumped on it to pick it up because it was sounded so intriguing. The price tag was not bad either. $26 Canadian for 100 grams of product and just to compare in the Bosha kind of black charcoal cleanser you get 150 milliliters of product and that can retail for about $40 Canadian. So obviously this is my first time trying it. I can't tell you how long that this product lasts but it does seem to be about in line with their uh, product range and the general prices of their products. So it's meant to be like any other cleanser to help clean your skin. It has activated charcoal in there. It does say it's good for all skin types, helps with pores, oiliness, dryness, recommended to everyone. Bosha makes really nice skincare so that is another reason why I wanted to try this product out. I was looking at the ingredient list and it's not super long. It's actually a bit shorter than a lot of their other cleansers which I thought was interesting. So let's crack this open and see what it's all about. Talk a little bit about it claims. I'm going to wash my face, of course, show you the demo. I'm wearing makeup and generally I would remove my makeup before I cleanse my skin, but I do want to see how it does removing makeup and then also we'll just kind of do a double cleanse and cleanse my skin, play around with it a little bit and see what happens. Here is what it looks like when you receive it. It comes in this clear box. You get, of course, the jelly ball cleanser inside and then this item here to pierce it. Remove tape around plastic enclosed jelly ball. It is kind of squishy. This is where it gets kind of scary. It says, um, use provided pick. Oh, am I supposed to leave it in here? Oh shit. Is that, see, I knew I was going to do this. How do I get it back? <laughs> I wonder if everybody else had this amount of trouble. Okay. So we're back. As you can see, it's got like this area here that depicts where you need to pick it. Okay. This is it. I'm terrified. It feels so not intuitive to do this. I also am scared of balloons. Okay, puncturing, puncturing. I swear to God, if I waste $26 on this. Mm. Did I go out of frame? Cause I got, cause I scared myself. <laughs> it's already getting kind of like soapy. Ooh, it feels really soft. A pretty clean scent, kind of citrusy, with like a hint of charcoal. The balloon is off and now this is the, this is it guys. Ooh, it feels crazy. I don't know why I thought that it was liquid inside. Like it's a jelly ball cleanser, obviously. But let's actually put it to use on the face. So you can see that it gets super soapy. So you can either kind of use this part that's on your hands if you don't want to rub this directly on your face or you can rub this directly, directly on your face. I have a good bit of my eye makeup off and now I'm just going to rub it together in my hands. I'm going to take the approach of rubbing it in my face, on my face first. Ooh, okay. Feels nice. Something that they noted as well is that it's good for travel if you can, you know, find the appropriate way to store it because it's not a liquid. And as you can see, I, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little bit of makeup on the ball. I don't know if people would find this unsanitary. I don't. I mean, it's a soap and you can wash it. It's no different than bar soap, really. It's just like jelly. Um, but just looking on the website here, it has activated charcoal, um, which is good for unclogging your skin. It's got things in there that hydrate and calm, uh, vitamin C, hinoki oil. So yeah, I think this is doing a really good job breaking down the makeup. It does have kind of a soapy smell, but it's like gluten-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, no preservatives. <laughs> it never looked better. So I feel like that did a good job um, 
removing my makeup as I mentioned I'm really broken out right now but it doesn't feel like it dried out my skin it didn't leave a film on my skin or anything like that um, but be sure when you are doing any skincare that you remove your makeup and then cleanse because then you're actually cleaning your skin as opposed to just removing your makeup so that's why I'm gonna go back in now and clean again the only kind of downfall I see with this is storage but you could totally just like hold on to this guy and store it in that um, or like things getting stuck to it and stuff also is this the first of its kind or is it like a Korean skincare thing because I know like Korea has it going on and then American brands will do stuff and then we're like oh my god it's so innovative and Korea's like um hello we've been doing that for a hundred years I just had to take a pause to make one of those like oh my god I'm testing a gimmicky product thumbnails I've given in <sighs> what am I trying to say like the benefit like the way that the product is um, packaged is not in a way that like I think is necessarily going to enhance your skincare. Um, I not I don't think it's something that like you know you're like oh when it's in a jelly ball it makes my skin better because of this. But the whole like skincare makeup thing like there's definitely like a like a, a therapeutic thing to it. You're like taking care of yourself, taking time for yourself. And like anything that's kind of sensory or interesting, I think really adds to that experience. So I think it definitely, you get something out of it for that. Also the, the travel thing, it could be easier or it could be more difficult. Honestly, I'm not totally sure, but I had to zoom you out. You're way too close to my bad skin day. But um, overall, I think that this is a super interesting product. Do you absolutely need it? No. Do you absolutely need anything that I test on my channel? No. But I do think it is super fun. If you have oily skin or normal com combination skin, I would definitely recommend it. If you have dry skin, it does say it's good for dry skin. Um, but this kind of product, I definitely feel like is better suited to someone with oily skin um, because it doesn't have a super creamy lather. There is a lather there for sure. But if you're looking for like added hydration, I don't know that you're necessarily going to get it there. But it is super fun and I think it's pretty adorable. So let me know down below what you think of this. I'm going to continue to use it for sure. It's not something that's just going to be like a gimmicky item and then there's nothing to it. I think that there definitely is something to it. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!